Hey you guys, I'm Patricia Vargas of PatriciaVargas.com and today we're going to be entering into our marketing series. So how to market yourself as an artist. But before we get into all of the strategies of social media and email marketing and all that good stuff, um, we first need to establish this sort of foundation and understand what marketing really is. According to the Marketing Insider Group, at the fundamental level, marketing is the process of understanding your customers and building and maintaining relationships with them. And then, of course, your goal is to get those relationships from just being conversational to moving along and get them to actually buy something right your goal at the end of the day is kind of always to get people to buy your stuff um, in this case it's your art but before we can start doing some marketing we need to create that sort of foundation we need to know more about ourselves so that then we can create a message that we can spread to everybody else so the things that you need to know about yourself and your art is first you need to know exactly what you're selling yes you are selling your art but what format does that come in what sizes do does it come in um, what's the pricing for that is there additional things that are added to it so say you do paintings does it come with framing um, does it come on canvas does it come stretched is it an original painting are there art prints available so first you need to know exactly what it is that you will be offering to the public next you need to know where you are selling so where are you going to direct the people that you are marketing to is it going to be your own website is it going to be a third party platform like Etsy or is it in partnership with another company like Minted or Society6 or Saatchi? So you need to decide where is it that people are going to go to and that needs to be a clear path because you can't just be marketing all of this stuff to people and they're like, oh, where can I buy your work? And you're like, ah, oh, well, um, uh. You need to have a very clear answer and if it's only at that time by email like email me for pricing then that's what it is you know but you need to have a very clear idea of where you will be sending those people next you need to know exactly who you're marketing to so please don't say that your art is for everybody because it is most likely not and that's a good thing some people might get a little bit scared when they hear like don't market to everybody because you think if I market to everybody then it's more likely to get me a lot more sales but what ends up happening is that when you don't get specific about who you're marketing to you're really not marketing to anybody at all. The, all of your marketing efforts just kind of dissipate uh, into thin air. So when you get clear about who it is that you're marketing to, it really speaks to that person on a deeper level and it will get them to actually buy your work. They are more likely to be so excited about owning one of your pieces and hanging it on their wall and paying a full price for it. Okay, and the last one is that you need to know why you're selling what you're selling. Why do you create the art that you create? You know, maybe it has some sort of political tie, maybe it has a religious tie, maybe it has a connection of, to a life event that occurred, um, that happened to you, and maybe other people can resonate with that as well. So you need to get clear on, this is why I do what I do, and that will help with your overall marketing messaging. Okay, so if you don't have an answer to one or all of these questions, make sure that you download the workbook below. I have included a link for this video. And make sure you do that before you step into the next video where we'll be talking about SEO. Once again, I am Patricia Vargas of patriciavargas.com and if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you in the next video.